setting up a 60 gallon aquarium with Robin Sherry. Hi everyone, welcome to part two. Today we're going to go through rinsing off our gravel or substrate and setting up our uh, water pump and heater and just filling up the tank with water. Uh, lots of things to do. When, um, we're going to try to just keep our videos down to five or six minutes so this could be several parts but this is part two and here we go. Okay so we got this aquarium outside. We laid down boxes and then laid it on its side. We're now masking it off and clean the glass and we'll be spray painting in a second. So we slowly but carefully added three coats of paint to the back side of our aquarium and trying not to get asphyxiated at the same time. So right after that we took apart the canister pump that we have for the aquarium and started cleaning all the materials and filters that came with it. And this is the process we used. The other thing is we bagged the materials in small netting so we could uh, easily clean the filter later on and not have the particles all over the place. So this is our process and uh, yeah it took a little time but um, it's worth it and everything got cleaned really well and yep uh, it's really nice to have a good strainer around the house. So we put all the different filters inside the canister, closed it up, and sealed without a problem. Very simple to use, and we're really, so far, very happy with this pump. Next, it was time to clean all the substrate, or the gravel, and we had 50 pounds to go through, and so Sherry went to work on that. Then we dumped it into five gallon buckets, um, 25 pounds each, and covered them with tinfoil for the evening till we had time to start loading up the tank. Before we put the aquarium back, I put two safety locks or um, straps in the back of this to help keep it from tipping over. So they're all set up and just for safety. And uh, we're going to put some shims under here because we're a little bit tilting forward and we're going to level it and sure cleaning up the the aquarium which we're going to go outside and look and uh, we're about ready to set it up put rocks in it so let's move on what are we doing just clean it inside out so that's what it looks like with the paint on it just did a light coat of uh, navy blue and uh, it should be darker in the house because we got sunshine going through it so Pretty happy with it, but we did have a little problem with overspray. So Sherry's cleaning it up. Thank you. It's hot. It's like 90 degrees out today. Yeah. So there she is. Alrighty. So we got this thing installed. Got the new black or blue backing on it. Looks really good. Still cleaning up the glass. We put shims in at the bottom and leveled it. And it's perfectly level. So we're just kind of tweaking it, getting our power cords in the right place. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's see. Okay, so we added our blue rock in there. And look 
looking kind of pretty. I like how that's coming out. So we have the Eheim 600 installed now, and it's really simple, but we uh, wanted to work with the hoses a little bit, so we put it in here like that. We actually put a, a little uh, tray down below it just to, when we're doing disconnects and stuff, if it does a little spit or it gets a little water on the cabinet, it will catch it. But So that's it down there. And then we wanted all of our plumbing to come from the back. So we're putting our intake here. And right for now, we're going to put our sprayer right there. And the only thing we didn't like about the uh, Eham uh, uh, output is this thing kind of is hard to work with and real stiff, but I think it will probably uh, mold to where we want it. But yeah, it's coming out pretty good. So, our next step. <laughs> What's our next step? I think water. <laughs> Time for water. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. Alright, nothing like running a garden hose through your house. But yep, starting the process of filling it up. And once again, we were instructed that we could go straight with the water we have because we have hard water. As soon as we get it filled up, we're going to put an uh, additive to it to uh, dechlorinate it. And we got our thermostat in. It's not plugged in yet until we have water in here. And we're just kind of checking for leaks, just double check things. And then we're going to fire up the pump and see what happens. But yeah, we're getting there. There she is. Garden hose and all. Stay tuned for part three as we add water, turn on the pump, and start decorating nervously. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to watch our previous video and hang in there for part three. There's nothing like adding 60 gallons of water to your hallway. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.